Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Miracles do happen when we believe. I am Father Noy Gallego, SVD. My first assignment was in Africa, particularly in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Central Africa. And I have a story to share. After being ordained in 2007, and then after some time, we were sent to Africa. And then right away, we studied language. And after a year of language studies, I was immediately sent to the Paris. And the Paris was 80 kilometers away from the main town in which uh, we had to travel by bicycle always. Since I was new to the language and then I was new to the place, I opted to stay and I opted to, I, I, I preferred to say masses in the barrios. And one particular experience I'd like to share with you this afternoon was that since Congo or Africa in general, if we heard about Africa, Malaria is simply everywhere. Malaria is normal. If you don't have malaria, as if you're not yet welcome as missionary, as if you, as, you are not yet welcome to, to Congo. And the place, the Paris where I was assigned, everybody, we have our malaria. No one is excused. Everybody is uh, having their malaria. In one particular evening, one old mother came to the convent pleading for medicine. Since we Filipino missionaries, we always bring with us paracetamol, um, anything for, for first aid. And we used to give people. And you know, parang mga Filipino din po sila. Na everything that is given or coming from the priest, my special power siya. And believe it or not, Yung may malaria, umiinom ng paracetamol, gumagaling. I always believe, I always think that because they, they believe. That particular afternoon, we ran out of paracetamol. An old mother came asking for medicine. And she said, Father, may malaria ako. I mean, hindi po Tagalog, ano? He was telling us with my... SBD companion there. Uh, he, she need medicine, and unfortunately, we don't have it. I was talking to the old mother, and my Paris priest entered this room, and since there was no electricity in that place, in that parish, and when the Paris priest came out, he brought with him a glass of water and a tablet, and. Uh, while I was talking with the mother, the Paris priest intervened and said, Mama, bakayay. Kunwayu, mbasi ngi kwisa, sambu na mesa na beto. That's it, in Kikongo. In short, she wa he was saying, Take this, drink it immediately, and you go home and rest. Tomorrow, join the Mass. We have our Mass. Because during Mass, we have to say Mass at least three hours. So a lot of singing and dancing. Alam, pag na-exercise sila, parang papawisan, baka matang matanggal. Tomorrow, if you can, please join the Mass. Because that was Saturday. Fast forward. It was already Sunday. I forgot everything about that mother. And after the Mass, we were dancing for the, for the recession. And I was surprised this old mother came in front of us, dancing and singing with all the expression of gratitude. Father, thank you, thank you. Look, I am healed, I am okay now. Then I remembered, inquiring to my parish priest, I told him in Bisaya, Pads, hurot na may atong tambal. We ran out of medicine. Asa man kanikuha? Where did you get the medicine last night? And you know, my parish priest, told me just don't tell him tell her just don't tell her 
I removed one of the buttons of my, my shirt. I gave it to her. And you know, believe it or not, she got healed of, his mal of her malaria because of the buttons. So lesson, do not throw away your buttons. Believe it or not, that, that was my personal experience of life as a missionary in the Democratic Republic of Congo. After all, I realized now it was her faith that, he, that healed her. Nothing really is impossible once we believe in God. Those were the moments, you know, when you are, I know some of those who are listening right now, doctors, those who are in, medical, in the medical field, they call this style or technique like placebo effect. Operating from the emotion, from the mentality of the person. And we as missionaries, we were not taught naman uh, sa mga ganito. And those were the difficult times of my life. You know, I was even asking God, God, how can I help these people? And you know, it's always a consolation when we see people having their faith and, you know, they're growing with their, their faith. And from then on, I realized, indeed, miracle or miracles are always possible when we believe in God. And that is exactly the same way with the disciples in the gospel today. Jesus is trying to teach them, to let them feel that indeed they are not, they are not with an ordinary people, with ordinary person. They are with Jesus, the divine word. They are with God. Jesus was with them and he can do everything. You know, the moments of, those moments of difficulties in the mission, I felt always con consoled when I realized that God listens to me. I felt consoled when I realized that God believes in me. And most of all, I felt consoled when I realized that God loves me. Kayo din po, God listens to you. God believes in you. And God loves you. Kindly all stand. In the miracle of the feeding of 